first time in the apartment. back to New York. It is 9.35 and we are currently, well, I'm currently sitting in the car at Walmart waiting for Jack to go buy a razor. That's the one thing I forgot. He obviously needs to go in clean shaven tomorrow. And so, yeah, we could not stop home. So we went straight from LaGuardia to Walmart. He's like running in real quick, grabbing this razor and then we're going home and he's going to see the apartment for the first time. So I'm going to record um, us walking in and like his reaction to everything. Cause remember I did like the um, picture frames with our cities on there. He has the gift. Um, yeah. And then like just obviously seeing the apartment, he was like telling me, he was like, I can't wait to just see what home is. Cause he hasn't, he hasn't seen it. He hasn't been here. So it was funny, like on our way to Walmart, I was like, look, this is our Duncan. This is our Starbucks. This is the Chase Bank. Like this is everything like welcome. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it, it's exciting. We're both like super exhausted. Not gonna lie. I woke up at like four in the morning today because this is still the same day as his graduation. It's just been long like really long lots of travel our plane got delayed we were sitting on the tarmac for like 50 minutes like five zero minutes um and then we didn't land till i want to say eight and then we grabbed my my car for my aunt and now it's like 9 30 and we're finally home and then we him and i both have work tomorrow but it's okay we're both i know like as soon as we walk in like that high is gonna hit and we're gonna be super excited i think just sitting in the car like driving for an hour that just kind of like added on top of our you know, tiredness, but the whole way here, we were listening to music because Jack hasn't really listened to music in so long. So he was playing DJ, playing all his favorites. And yeah, we're just kind of getting used to um, the taste of what this normal life is going to be. So yeah, it still feels like weird that he's like, that he's sitting right here, that he's here in New York. Like I was sitting on the plane with him and I was like, this is weird. Like I can touch you. You're next to me. Like what the heck it's just it's crazy so it's been a whirlwind of emotions for the past like 24 hours 48 hours so yeah I guess the biggest word is just grateful grateful to be done with this long process and grateful to be home and like start this next chapter all right first time in the apartment yeah it's big <laughs> I just can't with him right now we have so much stuff Take your shoes off because it's soaking wet out. Where do you want to put it? Just put them right here. <laughs> I gotta look, I look like this will get flattened. Oakley will get flattened by his bag. Like this is, look at the each. size difference from Oakley to this thing. They're like 40 pounds each, so if one were to land on her, she'd be a hamburger patty. She had a hamburger patty. She did, she had some hamburger today. Okay, on with our little reaction of the apartment. What you think? I like it. I love it. Love it? Um, it's weird because I've been on FaceTime looking at it the entire time that we've had it. So does it, lights back here, um, does it feel, this is our laundry room. I don't know why we're like looking at this first, but um, does it feel bigger than what it looked like on FaceTime? It's not that it felt small on FaceTime. I just couldn't gauge the depth or the size or any of that stuff. Okay. So, this is my my dress closet. You can my open it. Closet. My dress closet. <laughs> Ridiculous, I know. That's if you like go in, seen. it's like automatic. The light goes on. Yeah. Oh, it's because one of my dresses is covering. Whatever. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So that's that. Nice. And then I don't know. I'm trying to see if we can eventually put like um like a rod there to make that our closet. That, so I just put closet. shoes for now. Yeah, but I think we should put like winter coats here if we can get um. If we can get one of those like rods or whatever, but for now it's just like the shoes I commonly wear. All right. But yeah, okay, let's let's go to the good stuff. Oh, we're showing like whatever. So, kitchen, cabinets, counters. Well, we don't really have cabinets, but countertops. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay. First thoughts. Go ahead. It's important. Glad it's here. It needs to be right where I can get to it. He loves this. As a gift from Johnny. As my dad. And then this light is a dimmer, so you can. Oh, sick. So, depending right, on how bright or whatever you want it to be, pot filler. Yep. 
like the this is clean. Everything's clean. Of course, it's clean. It's I don't me. Mean, I mean clean, like <laughs> like it's hip. Um, go check that out. This? No, that. This? Yeah, that's the storage area. I don't even think oh, I've shown this on the vlog. This is like extra space. This is where we need to put Jack's drums, truthfully. <laughs> Watch your head. I've just put like random things here. Yeah, but it gets big. I feel like we could put like a whole like bed in. in here. This can be your man, man cave clubhouse. It'll be like my, it'll be like my mini one. Yeah, Jack really wanted a man cave, but unfortunately we don't have a basement, but this is as close as it's going to get. We also have like four garbage cans, by the way. That's awesome. I, we use this one. Just use that one. Um, okay. What else have you noticed in here? Oh, nice. <laughs> That's all I get is, oh, nice. <laughs> I, I was so that. excited about <laughs> these. <laughs> no, it's awesome. I just had to think about Coral Springs. I was like, I was thinking about Cold Spring. Oh, Arshini, so I yeah, like, I got it, I got it. I was like, wait a minute. Does it look like Hattie's bird? This is exactly how I remember it. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? Yeah, I love it. It's cool. Really Some decor, you know, we have to yeah, make sure the place is looking cute. Yeah. Um, shout out to Katie and Nick for po putting this up for me because, you know, oh, I sure as heck could not do that. Yeah. Well, I could have, but it would have been a lot harder for me. I didn't have any tools. Go ahead. Our pantry. Oh, we got a freezer? Yes, we do. Nice. It's not plugged in. Well, I'm just saying. But, yeah. Just for... Extra things. Extra yeah. schmeat. Extra schmeat. I stocked up on all of your Trader Joe favorites. You see it? Got your... Ooh. <laughs> Look at him. He's so excited. Look at Oakley right now. I can't. I can't. <laughs> what is she doing? Okay, Jack, are we are we really opening this and eating this in the middle of our tour? Oh, okay. <laughs> He's eating peanut butter pretzels. You look what I'd be before I go to bed. Yeah, I kind of want one too. We're so dehydrated and so tired. So if our energy level is low, that's why. I spent 10 weeks with a camelback on. Drinking. I pretty much have water whenever I want. Fair and enough. The past two days, I'm gonna drink water like a civilian again. <sighs> like mm. a civilian? Who would have thought? Our little bar area. Yeah. You like that? I love it. Is this kennel? Yeah. It says home sweet home. Smells good. This is one a picture from when we got engaged. Yeah. Go look in the bathroom, the guest bathroom. Which one's that? Mm -hmm. That right there. I put so much decor oh, in here. Too. Yeah, yeah, like everything has a dimmer in here. It's all pretty like high tech. Do you like my decor? Is this the one? Uh, yes, I did that. That's the decor. Yeah. Turn around. <laughs> nice butt. See it? Yeah. That's awesome. It's all the little details, okay? Yeah. It's the little details. Yo, wiper in the shower. Cool. Oh, that came here. That came with it. Oh. So I just kind of left it. And then our couch covers. Yeah. Oh, this is your closet, by the way. Oh, we should, we should probably, it's not this light. We should probably uh, do your, your closet with all your clothes that I got you. Yeah. Come that's check it out. The big box. Yeah, that's the big box. Nice. That's awesome. I even steamed it. I'm excited to wear this. Do you like that? Okay, good. Because I didn't know if you were going to like that or not. I do. I mean, I haven't worn it, so, but I assume it's going to be pretty. I was thinking you can put your military uniforms in like some of the, this or this one, whatever, you know, they're just long. So I thought it'd look good. Well, we got a big mirror. Oh, we're home. Look at us. Our well, little big mirror. Well, we're basically issued us basically the cheapest underwear. <laughs> Show them how high the underwear <laughs> Was for, like, for the underwear to support anything, it had to be pulled up to like my belly button. <laughs> you didn't like that? No, it wasn't very. Uh, didn't make me feel great. And then this is play. our room. Well, now you have your bougie underwear again. No, bougie this underwear. also has a dimmer. Nice. This is our room. It's still very bare, but we're getting there. Are you all full of energy now? All right, we're gonna go play with the dog. Ever. What do you think so far overall? Oh, yeah. No, it's cool. Uh, I'm going to get lost for a little while. 
You're gonna get lost. It's not that big. I know, but it... You happy with it? Yeah, look. Feel like home? Uh, yeah. Feels I mean, better than the barracks? I was about to say, it's like I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be sleeping next to one person. Can you so. believe you're sleeping in this bed versus a twin size? <laughs> what were you sleeping in? Like, I don't even know. You never showed me it, like a picture. It would be like sleeping on like this end of the couch, maybe. This end? That's it? Or maybe like, yeah. That's all you got was just like yeah, that? If I wanted to turn over, I'd have to like go like this instead of like now I can just kind of roll over on Jenna. <laughs> or Oakley. Bit, <laughs> okay. So. All right. 10 out of 10? 11 10 out, out of 10? 10. 11 out of 10. Looks like the army threw up. But anyways, Jack wanted to show you. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Look, look how long. Like if you just look at the butt. Why do they look so big? They look like grandpa pants. They are. <laughs> They're granny panties for men. Are you throwing them out? You don't want them? No, I don't yeah, want them. Yeah, I'm throwing them out. I tried to get rid of all of them before I left, but, you know, I just, uh, whenever we were packing, I was just scooping everything in my bag. But, um, I bought these as an alternative. And they're okay. Oh my god, those are long too, but, compared to the normal ones you wear. But the problem is, I don't usually wear. Oh, stop. <laughs> I'm glad he's wiping her butt. <laughs> I don't usually wear, uh, like boxes over briefs and try to get the briefs and Joe started said no for some reason, so. Where do I begin? The laundry is calling its name. Oh, look at the difference in our uniforms. Me in a nice little dress. Army boy, Jack. Just the you just touched the spider? Like, on, like, oh. Sounds like you haven't left basic training then, have you? Yeah. Hmm, lovely. Anyways, this is the first time him seeing the outdoor backyard thing because last night it was like pitch black, so. So serious. No, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> you were like. I'm not trying to be serious, sorry. <laughs> trying to finish getting dressed. First day vibes. He's about to go to work for the first. I guess he's been working, but I like first done time. i working like a thousand something hour shifts. <laughs> <laughs> a thousand hour shifts. My mom was like, Did you ever get a free day? And he's like, No, you don't get those. You get Sundays. You get like, church Sunday. That's about really it. Free. But yeah. What do you think? I like it a lot. It'd be nice to sit out here and chill. I know, but the thing's wet, so don't sit, because you're gonna get your uniform all wet. All right, the whole family's here. We have, Oak right as we started recording, Oakley hops up right in the middle, but I'm so excited because we just came home from work. We are about to head to the gym and our nuts.com order came. This is one box. Hold up your box. I'm pumped for this, so my dad put me on nuts.com forever ago because if you know my dad, my dad is obsessed with peanuts, and so, did you know you know that right he's like obsessed with peanuts he always has peanuts in the house it's like nuts like he he's obsessed with the nuts.com macadamia nuts is this oh yeah this is him the first thing i opened macadamia nuts these are so good and so he inspired me to get them but he has been ordering from nuts.com forever and so now that jack's home i was like all right i'm gonna do an order we're gonna get a bunch of these. And so I'm so excited. Nuts.com is working with us on this video and they sent us like two big boxes of goodies. And I thought it'd be fun to like unwrap it all with you as Jack is still undoing his box, but I'll go through mine. So we got some macadamia nuts. I know my dad's gonna steal these whenever he comes to visit. Aw, this is the one I wanted you to open because I got this for him. I got him some beef jerky when I was sorting out like what we were gonna get. I saw this and Jack, Literally told me at boot camp, he's like, make sure there's some jerky or some protein or something in the house. So that was that pick. I did say that. Yeah, you did. Yeah. So, um, one of the things coming out of boot camp is that I've, that I've been worried about is not eating three thousand calories habitually. Yep. Um, so I've been trying to simmer down on the amount I'm eating, but still keep my protein up. So before boot camp and now, I've always had beef jerky in the house, so this is great. Good uh, get, I good get. Nuts.com had beef jerky, so. I know, they have so much. I, like, originally, I, I originally, like, found out about it because my dad's, like, obsession with peanuts, nuts, whatever, the macadamia nuts, these ones. And then I was on their site, and I, I found so many other things. Like, this is granola. Which would, oh, this is the vanilla light and crunchy granola. I think this will be so good with, like, some oikos. We love oikos, and so I think that'll be good, like, sprinkled on top with some, some grapes in there or something. Kettle corn, half pop popcorn. Ooh, that was my pick. Kettle corn, half pop popcorn. That looks good. Ooh. They're like light and sweet, but not too sweet. Oh my gosh, we have so much. This is amazing. 
I feel like I can't even like hold it all up. We're stopped. <laughs> Jack is like not even jogging. He's just he's just eating. What, what are those? Black chocolate almonds. Ooh. So good. This is a perfect like pre-workout snack. Literally, we're about to go to the gym and I was like, we have to do our unboxing with nuts.com. Here we are. Wow, this is so good. So we just opened the dark chocolate turbinado sea salt almonds. Yum. Mm. That was like a reward. We should be eating this after the gym. Yeah, we should be. <laughs> these remind me of Christmas. Yeah, oh, these are good. All right. If you guys want to shop nuts.com, we're going to have a link in the description box below. Big thank you to nuts.com for working with us on this video. We are going to be eating all these nuts and granola and chocolate and candies and all this. And jerky. And jerky Jack's favorite. Probably for like the next couple months. <laughs> Y'all, I can't make this up. So it is like actually pouring rain and we parked really far for our little date night tonight. <laughs> and Jack, here's video of Jack sprinting to the car, okay? <laughs> So I'm under this like Indian restaurants cover right now. And then <laughs> Jack sprints to go to the car to go get the, you know, to go get the car and pick me up. I have the keys in my purse. So then he sprints all the way back and it's like a long, like we're down there. Okay. And we're like, this is already us walking from like that direction all the way down from like a different brewery. So he comes back like stripping. I'll, I'll film him when I get in the car right now. Cause it's going to be bad. And then he's like, I don't have the key. So then he starts running again. <laughs> I just, I feel so bad, but he's like, just wait under there. I'll come get you, I'll come get you. But yeah, this is tonight. <laughs> Here's my first class Uber right here waiting for me. <laughs> he's probably so soaked. How are you doing? Great. <laughs> oh my gosh. Absolutely soaking wet. <laughs> that was really nice of you. Nice guy. Do you feel like you um, ran just as fast as you did in boot camp? That's it, so. You were sprinting? Yeah. Full on sprint? No. Oh my gosh, it's I'm freezing. Dark. It's really dark. You ready? See the Joe Bros? We're on the train right now to go to Yankee Stadium and Jack has to obviously go to the bathroom to be standing up and literally waiting all alone. Ah, he sees me. Oh no, he's not happy. So this is Gemma. This is the girl I went to at dinner with last week, if you guys were, or two weeks ago. Um, so anyways, she was like, he's gonna catch cooties if you go on there. And then Jack's like, good thing I can stand. Maybe we'll pull like the last one's bigger. <laughs> she's also she's also from England. I am. I just like to hear you talk, honestly. Most people don't. No? Really? <laughs> I bet you. Because I do it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> she does talk a lot. Anyways, the scenic view, the route. We're going to see the Jonas Brothers. Unintentionally, we both had tickets to this. And then through conversation, she's like, I'm going to the Jonas Brothers. Yes. And so, yeah, we're all on this train. On a mission. On a mission. He's back. How was the experience? I think the girl before me smoked a cigarette in there. You think so? Isn't that illegal? Yes. Yes. Um, Do you feel like you got they cooties? Trash can. No, they had hand sanitizer in there. Ew. <laughs> but the hand sanitizer could have been straight cootie sauce. I don't know. Cootie sauce. <laughs> Okay, so Gemma is single and she is a hinge girly and she is disgusted. This man has cooties and he's sticky and he just told me I'm gonna become one with his stick. I'm gonna be a big, I'm gonna big spoon you and you'll feel the stick becoming one with you. What are you gonna super glue yourself to me? That's so ugh. Are you gonna reply? I think I'm just gonna reply ick. Ick? Yeah. <laughs> I want icky sticky bear. Yeah. Disgusting. Icky sticky bear. Sent. Oh. <laughs> Sent. Stay tuned for the reply. We made it! And guess who's back? Alexa! And Avery. It's Avery's birthday. Happy birthday, Avery. And then Jack. Oh, wait, you didn't know? <laughs> we are at the one, the only Jonas Brothers Stadium. <laughs> I see there's so many people here with like the Yankees jerseys and they cross it out and then they put Jonas on the back. This is the only way I want to watch a baseball game. Was it actually 
almost, was it last September we saw them in Cincinnati? Was it two years ago? It was two years ago. It was two, so two years ago, I saw the Jonas Brothers for the very first time in Cincinnati, literally with the same people, and then a couple more friends. And then now we're back in action because, so Alexa still lives in Cincinnati, came here for uh, Avery's birthday, and then had two extra tickets. And you know Jack and I had to come. So, gang's all here. We are ready to jump and scream and dance. We're really close, sure. look. So you're hitting a big score. Oh, tell them, you want to tell them the ending in a pick story? So I told Jack I want to go to a Yankees stadium, like a Yankees game. But what's my rule? Alexa's actually a sports girly. I like Me, sports. not so much. Um, <laughs> then I was like, we'll go for like a quarter and a pick. And I was like, well, at a baseball game, it's an inning and a pick. <laughs> a, a quarter picture, and a pick. <laughs> a, por a picture. Football and a quarter and a pick. You know, like a quarter and an insta pick. And yeah. that's that's more than enough for me. You stayed longer though. Yeah, uh, even, even in the cold. When we went to the Bengals game. We were cold. We were freezing. They even had the little beanies and everything. And I was very impressed. But we did have that, like that access where we got to go get the food. Yeah. Yeah, so that helped. Club, but club, club level. <laughs> We're club level people. Club level people. No, actually, we just got very lucky. Every time we went to those games, I don't. How did we always secured those tickets? We know people. We know people, and only in Cincinnati. Though I definitely know no one here in New York. But very cool. We are very close to floor level. We're not quite floor level people. It's been but. fun. Like we've been here for like four days, like riding the subway and like we as them too. Yeah. Avery, and Avery and they had a girls. Uh, like, like a sister trip, yeah, so we cute. Had a sister trip for her birthday, and it's been fun riding the subway all week with like just the random people who get on and off the subway. But on the way to this show, it was all girls getting so on the cute. train, so with like cute outfits, as and it Jonas should be. Shirts, so it was fun getting on the train with all the girls. And I'm honestly so happy we didn't go to the one yesterday because yesterday was like literally pouring. So was it raining in the city? It was raining by us in Cold Spring. Was it raining by yeah, you? Yeah, it did rain a little bit. Here. So there's a pair, there are apparently they were supposed to bring out some like very famous guests. Last night they brought out John Bellion. I don't know who that John is. John Bellion. Uh, tonight they're gonna bring out somebody else. So we'll see. I'm hoping it's like I think the coolest. Thing, I don't know. We had there's, Kelsey. Well, we had Kelsey Bellarini open up when we went to that concert I, two years ago. I saw a video of her and Penny Boyfriend just. Chase Stokes oh, yeah. on the floor last night dancing and like cute. They were so cute and like hugging Aww. and dancing together. Well, I bet after like she her. opened for him forever ago, and then they also handed out these cute bracelets. Wait, can you click my click them? I can't click mine because I have the camera. Oh, it's probably gonna be better at night. You'll see it later when we did mine die. But it's gonna be three hours, so they go on at eight, nine, ten, eleven, three hours. Three hours of they're, paradise for Alexa and I. Are they trying to do like a? I feel like it's trying. They're trying to do like a Taylor oh, I, Swift. They have to. Tour. I mean, they kind of have. They have the pressure. I feel like they're just as of caliber at, as Taylor Swift. Uh, you don't think so? I think so. They're just and as popular. They're very popular, but I have never seen what I saw over this summer with Taylor Swift ever since like. I can't even like, I've seen people compare it to like Beatlemania and I just can't even. I've what do you guys think? I've never seen anything like the Taylor Swift pandemonium over the summer. Maybe I'm just like biased. I mean, yeah, I, I don't think people were like I'm freaking Swifty, out at like, but I, but I like her song. Yeah, but no, I think like when it comes in terms of popularity, like I would think they're of like equal playing fields, but I don't know. I feel like. The, like that's like Taylor Swift's vibe. It's like the the friendship bracelets, like the pink, the glitter. So like people went all out for it. Like the Jonas Brothers aren't gonna have that vibe, you know? I don't know. What do you guys think? Are they of equal caliber? Drop it in the comments. Let us know. All right, we will show you guys parts of the concert. I won't be that person that records everything, but watch, I'm gonna be that person that records everything, and you'll just see. Yeah, when it lights up, and then we'll have our cute pics. Bye. Where's the girl from Game of Thrones? I didn't see her. Jack goes, where's Wait. the girl from Game of Thrones? It's 12.44 and my throat hurts really bad. We are both exhausted and want water, but a three hour concert so good. 
How was it for a non-Joe Bros fan? I recognize a few of their songs. Um, it was a great performance, obviously. Like, the mm-hmm. band was really good. I thought the opener was really good, too. Mm. Um, yeah, high energy. Um, I didn't I didn't think I really had, like, hearing loss or anything from the <laughs> uh, band itself, but from all the girls that were, like, ear level screaming, I think AKA I might have me. Oh. For some, for most, some of the songs. Me versus one girl screaming is fine. Me versus Yankee Stadium full of girls screaming. <laughs> I don't think the, uh, I don't think the army's gonna pay for that disability. All right. <laughs> but the train ride home was insane. Like, here's a video of Jack just, like, literally holding the ceiling. And like then I'm holding him to stay steady because there was just no seats. Now people have finally started to get off. We're like maybe four stops away from our exit, but we are ready to get home, chug water, and get the heck to sleep. It's been a long night. Hi friends, happy Tuesday. It is our first dinner meal that we're like really cooking in the apartment. Jack is uh, cutting up some onions and I just love the style here with the sunglasses. So that they don't burn my eyes. Cause I'm a grown man and I don't cry. Hope you can hear him, cause uh, this fan is on, but we are making- um... I have the glasses on so they don't burn my eyes, the onions. <laughs> and uh, so that I don't cry. But look at his skill. So that if, you, if I am crying, you can't see it. There's some chef status. We are making some uh, panza pasta. This is their new bucatini that I'm excited to try. 20 whole grams of protein. And then we're adding in some meat, some sauce, and um, probably like a veggie on the side at some point. And then we'll also give Oakley some of her own ground beef. We're gonna make it in this little small pan. So I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. I haven't done like a dinner recipe in a while. This is one that I have not shown on here. Very simple, very easy, but um, we are excited to finally be home, be cooking, and doing like real couple things on a random Tuesday night. This is what we've longed for, at least what I've longed for for a while. We've always had, oh my goodness, I rub my eyes. I look, look at my eye. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I can't with you with the sunglasses. Okay, ignore this. I was just, I came back from the gym and then I scratched my eye. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, We've talked about our Tuesdays, our Wednesdays, our Thursdays, because usually we were always we, was, we would always be together on weekends and weekends only. So for anyone who's done long distance, I know you can probably relate, but this is so nice. The taste of reality, our new our new reality. Mm-hmm. Don't you love it? Love we get to make an average meal on a Tuesday night. Yeah, no. And making him do all the crying. All right, here is the update. The meat sauce looks amazing. Here's Oakley's with absolutely no seasoning. And then this is the bonza pasta. And if you're wondering, this is the pasta sauce we're using. I am a horrible Italian. If anyone in my family is watching this, they are judging me. But you know what a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do in quick and fast meals. And this is from Aldi. I love the macros on it. I think it's super good. And it has that little like nutritionist approved stamp on it. So. If you're in the market for a new marinara pasta sauce, I highly recommend this one. And I think they have like a basil one as well. I always like get both and just pick whatever. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna let that simmer for a bit and then put that in there. And Oakley's about getting some veggies with hers as well. And yeah, that'll pretty much be dinner. This is dinner. And this is how we eat dinner here because we don't have our table but it's coming soon. Good morning, it's Thursday. I figured I'd do a get ready with me before I get ready for what's going to be a busy, busy day at work because we're having a huge sale on all of our estate jewelry uh, today through Saturday. So yeah, I figured I'd take you guys along to the process as I'm getting ready right now. I've had a lot of people ask me like just some of the face products I've been using or skincare products, as well as um, just like some of my makeup routine, like kind of going back to my TV news reporter makeup routine. I already cleansed my face with like the CeraVe facial foaming cleanser, but now I'm gonna use my Dime Beauty. I have been using this for like the past couple months and guys, I am obsessed. I start off with the hyaluronic acid and I just do a couple drops like this 
and then I mix it in. Sorry, my alarm clock just went off. So anyways, I just put it on my face, start mixing it in. Don't forget your neck, do it on my nose. I've been using this for the past couple months and I really, know, like this is my face with nothing on it. I have like a little light here to make it look a little better, but I mean, I feel like my skin looks really good, especially for summer as we're in the sun and doing all that, you have to protect your face against the sun. So of course I have a sunscreen, which I will do actually after I put the dewy day cream on. Can't skip my steps. But yeah, I've been using this. This is like really good for moisturizing. I typically, I've noticed like ever since I started moving more north of Florida, my face has been pretty dry. So I like to do a lot of like moisturizing things um, just to keep my face not, like my face literally used to like, it had like chapped skin in Cincinnati. And this was like before I had any idea of like what to put on my face. So now I just try to do, I try to keep it simple. Like I, I can't wake up and put like 15 products on my face and scrubs and things. And like, like I have a rule of thumb, like, like three things, three things will go on my face and that's about as good as it's going to get. And then I end it with just a um, sunscreen. It's the wonder screen. It has SPF 30 in it. And I love this thing. I, I just, I've been really trying to be on it with the sunscreen and not super tan my face i'm so nervous to get like wrinkles and bad skin later i don't know so i've just i've heard a lot of things like make sure you wear an spf i'm doing it and that's it like this literally took a minute and this was my three-step process in the morning so ha dewy day cream as well as a sunscreen super easy and then i'm obviously not going to use the night one but this is their restorative night cream i just started using this a couple weeks ago and i really like it i've this is now the only thing I've been using at night. Um, so I use three products in the morning, one at night. Again, I'm just not that girl that's going to have like this super elongated, elaborate skincare process. I'm trying to find like one thing that works. So if you're anything like me, I really recommend getting this. Um, just reading a little bit off the back, it says that it helps reduce the look of lines, wrinkles, and pores. So you can wake up to glowing, smooth, and supple skin. I like, it's super lightweight, it's easy. That's that's really what I go for, easy and something that works. Um, and I just love the Dime Beauty line, like their products are super clean, cruelty free. So if you guys are in the market for some new skincare products, I will have all of the information linked in my description box below. But yeah, it's really simple. These four products, three in the morning, one at night, maybe a minute of your time. So now I'm gonna go through my whole makeup routine. This is going to be a quick kind of like everyday slash everyday workwear makeup routine that I use. So starting off with concealing. final makeup look it took about five to seven minutes definitely more of a condensed version of what I used to wear as a TV news reporter which for the best because honestly this is all I need I think it looks great easy out the door and this is everything I need right now because our mornings really have been very hectic um, because Jack and I are sharing a, a car um, we're sharing my Jetta he's on the hunt to buy a truck um, we sold his car before doing the big move to New York. And so now we're on the hunt to find a used truck. Um, he has like all his specifics in mind. I'm not a truck person. So like I definitely could not spew them right here, but we just drove one that we really, really love um, last week, but we do need to take it to a mechanic and just make sure, like, I feel like we always have to do, do the due diligence when you're buying a used car. You wanna just make sure you're not buying a dud or anything like that. So. Fingers crossed, we are in the process of that. I'm so ready to have two cars again, <laughs> um, but it, it's been fine, honestly. Like it works out as well as it could. I mean, I have a coworker who lives, he has to pass by my apartment before both of us go to work. So it's not a huge deal for him to come pick me up. And then Jack's usually off before I am. So Jack will just come pick me up from work and I live like two minutes down the street. So again, not a huge deal. Life could definitely be worse. Honestly, just the best thing is having Jack here. I. I feel like this vlog has been kind of like a lot of like random little things this past week, week and a half, because like it, it's just like getting used to vlogging with him again and getting used to like doing all of these like life things. So it's been a fun week and a half um, getting used to our new normal, but 
we're very, very happy. And yeah, I think this is how this vlog is gonna end. Uh, we love and appreciate you guys. You have like the people who've been on this journey with us. We can't thank you enough. I mean, from all the congratulations to people saying I'm crying watching your reunion video. I mean, like I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe like how many people um, just have truly like been with us um, from the beginning of this. So to those people, thank you so much. If you're new to my channel and you're just finding our videos, welcome. <laughs> um, it's been a crazy summer, a crazy year really. And to finally be here, like if you've done long distance, you get it. Like we did a whole year of medium distance, then three months apart with him being at army basic training and to finally just have a Monday night together, have a Tuesday night together. Like it's, it's just the weirdest, weirdest thing in the world. So, and weirdest, like in the best way possible. Okay, I'm blabbering, I'm doing my thing. I'm gonna go, I'll see you guys next Wednesday, bye.